Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can downgrade your A5 device if you are 9.3.5 to 8.4.1 So I got a 9.4s here, running iOS 9.3.5 and yeah, we're going to downgrade it to 8.4.1 Let's go! Okay, so the first thing you can do is jailbreak your iPhone. So this method does require the jailbreak. If we drill weird later, we are at 8.4.1, there's gonna be no jailbreak. But on iOS 9.3.5, we have to jailbreak. So we're gonna download the Phoenix the Phoenix IPI here. This is a brand new jailbreak from 9.3.5. We're gonna click download. Already downloaded. Next step we're gonna download City Impactor. It's available for Mac and Windows. So I do have a Mac here already downloaded, so I don't have to download again. Alright. So we're going to go to the IPA, so here is the IPA. Next time to make your phone, open up the city factor and then just drag the IPA to there and just type in your Apple ID. Now don't worry, this is safe, this is safe, alright, so nothing gonna steal your IDs and all that. Alright, so once your uh, the IPS come up, it will show as the only home screen. Now I just done a screen replacement on this iPhone for us. So let's peel this little protector off. Do that away, and now we're gonna open up the app. And now, now I'm already jailbroken, so you you gotta be show a button down there that says Kickstart Jailbreak, and then just click on Agree, and then it will go to the specific offset. You just use the specific offset. The phone will reboot it. And then we will come up with Cydia. Now, once that's done, we're gonna open up Cydia. We're gonna refresh it to load all these sources. And then, once all the sources are loaded, we're gonna go to search and type in iFile. Alright, we're gonna install iFile. So, once this iFile is installed, let me zoom out the brightness here. We'll go to iFile. Okay, once we got iFile, we're gonna go back. We'll go to System. Okay, let's go to up oh, there. This system library. I'm gonna go to core services. Core services. I'm gonna scroll down to system version dot plist. All right, we got tab on that and play it at that tax viewer. Now, at right here, you guys gotta go to Safari and go to ipsw.me. Now, we're not gonna download any ipsw, but we need the uh, the build number for iOS 6. The reason is, so let me go to, hold on there. Okay, so the reason we need the iOS 6 build number is iOS, if you have an iOS 6 device, you cannot immediately upgrade to example iOS 9. So for some reason, you have to go to iOS 8.4.1. So this method is actually faking the system version. So by tricking that your phone, that your the iPhone thinking that it's an iOS 6, you're gonna go to software update and thinking it's an iOS soft and software update thinks that it's iOS 6, and has to go to i 8.4.1 for some other reasons. So that's what we're gonna do with the loop trick right there. So we're gonna downgrade wirelessly. <laughs> In fact, this is interesting. All right. So once here, find iOS 6. So we're gonna go to 6.0. And it's 10A403. Now we're gonna go back to iFile. Let me zoom into you guys so you guys can see a little bit closer. We're gonna focus on that. We're gonna click edit and then just bring up the keyboard. Alright, now we're gonna go to the below product build version key. We're gonna go to here and delete all these build number and change it with the iOS 6. So 10A403, make sure everything is same. A403, and we're gonna get the product version from 9.3.5 to 6.0. 6, 6.0. Alright, now click on save, done, and now just kill all these apps, kill the iFile as well and restart your phone now this method is introduced for the first time by Billy Ellis and because he's using an iPod 5 I'm just gonna show you the guys on this uh, iPhone 4s alright 
Now, once you reboot it, if so for example, the uh, update doesn't come up, I will throw up a, uh, a specific offsets for 9.3.5. So, for example, if you've done something up, if you are like mess something up, you just can go to the Phoenix app and press these you uh, use custom offsets and then just paste the text that I have in the description to there and then just run it from there all right as you can see there we got a loading bar after that all right now we're just gonna wait for this thing to uh, finish now this method also work with iOS 6.0 but uh, that for some reason no longer works so this is why I'm only showing you guys with iOS 8.4.1 now again note here that iOS 8.4.1 does not have a jailbreak this does not have a jailbreak state in the current moment probably in the future will be but I don't see any development for 8.4.1 yet so just keep that in mind I mean I personally don't mind this iPhone is not jailbroken I mean I have more iPhones here that is actually jailbroken this is an iOS 6 and iPhone 4 in fact that's actually jailbroken all right so we are here at iOS 9.3.5 again you can see there everything is still there now we go to Alright, so you will see there the setup app will crash, but don't worry, nothing will happen. Alright, so you can see there, spot that has moved. You can see the uh, menu pop up is, is now square, which is circular. And there you go. We are officially on iOS 8. You can see there, no more Cydia, no more earning. My Wi Fi is still working, thank God. The wallpaper will be turned black, but don't worry about that. You can, of course, put the wallpaper, but we don't care about it right now. Because we are now officially on iOS 8.4.1 we are successfully downgraded from 9.3.5 and everything's still in place let me see here I do have some photos and the photo is still there it's pretty good and yeah now you can do all your things and you get a better performance on iOS 8 oh yeah better fact I forgot to add a quick little note here now before you do the upgrade from iOS 9 to no, upgrade I mean from not downgrade downgrade I mean from iOS 9 to iOS 8 you need to have your uh, iOS device basically restored so make sure there's nothing as you can see I don't have any apps only the city and I do have some photos here just to make sure that it is actually an upgrade now this is actually some photos from the repair shop so probably the the repairer like charge you to test out the cameras and all that but I don't care about that but yeah 
make sure that you delete all your apps don't use any silly tweaks at all just make it basically like a like a freshly restored iphone if you can just restore your phone or your ios device first and then do this okay guys i uh, just got have a little troublesome with app downloading and maybe probably you guys will occur this happening too so i'm going to show you guys a little bit tip here so once you finish setting up ios 8 make sure that you go to settings no matter what just go to settings after you finish it setting up after you got that uh when the setup app crash yeah when the uh, setup app is crash when you're setting it up just go to settings general we're gonna, gonna go to reset and reset all content and settings all right why is this app why i told you guys to reset it because every time you just sort of download an app it will come up with a with a pop-up that's saying that unable to download app this specific app are unable to download now this was an easy fix well finally i found a, found a solution because i don't think I, uh, anybody found a solution yet is you just have to basically reset your phone via settings so this is basically restore your phone to factory settings without using itunes so as you can see there i downloaded an app as you can see there it is completely working so let me show you guys again here that an app will work so let me download it all the classic here full happy bird because i need a small app just to demo this all right we download Flappy Bird here. You see there, if you're not restore via settings after you do that, it will come to say after the thingy show up and say unable to download that. But now, after you restart it, after you restore via settings now, as you can see here, applications will now download, alright? So this is a quick little tip for you guys. If you guys have problems installing an app, just go to your settings app once the uh, setup app is crash so you just have to immediately go to that go to your settings general reset reset all content and settings and just reset it so this is will basically reset your iphone just like brand new on ios it's doing you can still on 8.4.1 you can see there i am still on 8.4.1 right so you guys don't worry about it all right all right so that's a quick little info peace out